School rules. Man, the rules that teachers are making in school these days just sometimes make no sense or are just completely stupid. Like the rules these teachers be implementing into the classrooms make school feel more like a prison than this prosperous environment for children to learn and develop into a member of society. Like, we are the future leaders of the world. I think we deserve some better treatment, which is why I'll go over some of the worst rules that schools have implemented. Alright, the first thing we'll talk about is the starting times of schools. Okay, now the typical starting times for schools can range from like 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning. Like, who's trying to go to school this early, man? Like, all I'm trying to do is sleep at that time. Like, we gotta start some sort of petition to make school start a little later in the day. Cause like, I can't do these 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. classes, bro. Schools need to start at either 10 or or 11 a.m. I feel like that's a more reasonable time. You know, it gives me more time to rest up and I won't be extremely exhausted right in the morning as compared to when I'm in class and it's 8 or 9 a.m. Like, bro, at that time, I'm doing anything but paying attention to the lesson. I'm out here dozing away in the middle of class and thinking about what I'm gonna eat for lunch. So yeah, make school start later. The next thing is the no being late rule. Now, with school starting this early, how do they expect us to not show up late, bro? Every student's got their own distance to travel to get the school whether it be by public transport walking biking car or whatever and i feel like school should be more lenient with weights because of that like school could start at 9 a.m and at 8 59 my ass is still sound asleep Then the teachers create punishments for being late, like giving you detention or calling your parents. Like, come on, bro. Like, what if I actually had an emergency that made me late that time? Or like I missed the bus or something out of my control happened. Like, that's not fair and it isn't warranted a punishment at all. But like, you know, I'm always a busy guy. So like, I'm always late to my classes because like, I'm just such a busy person who's always working, getting stuff done, shaking hands. You know, like I'm always on the grind right at the crack of dawn, you know, always using my time productively productively and efficiently. The next rule we'll talk about is the bathrooms. Now tell me this, why is it that I'm required to ask the teacher if I can go to the bathroom? Just think about that for a quick minute. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, right? Like, why can't I just go when I need to? Like, it's something that I can't control when I need to go. So, like, if I need to go, I gotta go. Why do I gotta be like, Uh, miss, may I please go to the bathroom? This will be the same with water breaks, too. Like, screw that, man. And sometimes the teachers be making up some bullshit rules on top of that. Like, oh, you can only go to the bathroom at the beginning or at the end of class. Like, what? What if you gotta go in the middle of class? So you just gotta hold your shit in? That's not right, man. If you gotta go, you you gotta go it's like a basic human right and bro the one thing that pisses me off the most man is when you go to ask the teacher to go to the bathroom and they say oh can you like shut the fuck up i'm about to smack you but i won't and i'll still ask respectfully because i'm respectful like that Bitch. This gets me so riled up, man. But yeah, even when I got to use the bathroom, my school would use these bullshit rules like, you can't go until Jimmy gets back, or in my elementary school, you'd have to take someone of the opposite gender as a buddy to the bathroom. Like, bro, I really gotta wait for Jimmy's ass to finish hitting the vape or pen while I'm out here struggling keeping it together. And dude, the rule that was made in my elementary school was just stupid. Like, you couldn't go to the bathroom by yourself or with your own gender because we would be reckless in the bathroom. So I'd had to go to the bathroom with a girl and they'd just be waiting outside the boys bathroom while I did my business and vice versa. Like, I don't know man, a pretty odd rule to enforce upon your students. Now let's talk about hoods and hats. Now I don't know why, but teachers just extremely hated hoods and hats. Like teachers would see a student wearing one and instantly snipe them. Like, I don't understand the reasoning for why we can't wear them in class. Like, what if your barber messed your cut up and you don't want others seeing your bald egg-headed ass, but a teacher tells you to remove it and the whole class clowns you for your Humpty Dumpty ass? Like, now your day is ruined and you'll just be known as the guy with the fucked up cut. And teachers be saying like, Oh, I can't see your face. Oh, I can't identify you. Oh, I just want to see your face. Like, bro, these are not good reasons at all. Like, hats and hoods don't cover your face at all. They mostly cover your head and ears. Like, you can clearly still identify me amongst my classmates. So those points regarding identifying students is invalid. So what's the real reason, eh? If there's any teachers watching, let me know. The next rule is no electronics. Now, bro, especially in this day and age, this rule is just plain dumb. Like, we be doing basically every assignment on the computer these days. 
like essays, Google Slides for presentations, coding, spreadsheets, Google Classroom. Like most things we do nowadays typically involve the use of electronics. So I feel like banning them in the classroom is kind of pointless because they are very useful in the classroom when used right. And kids are going to bring their phones and electronics to class regardless of the rules. So it doesn't really make a difference if you ban them. And teachers do this because it helps students focus better, which I guess is true. But let's be honest, more than 90% of the information that teachers feed you is completely pointless and you will never need to use in your entire life. So hey, I'm gonna stay playing subway surfers and bumping that heat in class. Now the next rule is no doing other homework in class. Now this rule is actually the most stupid rule ever created. So some teachers would really be enforcing students to not do homework from other classes and bro this is just insanely stupid. Like I'm in school and it's a place where I'm meant to do homework and educate myself and the one time I choose to lock in and get shit done now I'm not allowed to do it all of a sudden. Like this happened to me before. So I was in my kinesiology class and my next class was biology and I had a unit test on things Things like the cell cycle or something like that you know like mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell type shit and I was on my grind in kinesiology class during a work period and my kinesiology teacher walks up to me and says to me boy what's this oh uh, it's my biology notes I'm studying for a test next period boy this is kin class not biology class put those notes away oh uh, okay bro I'm screwed for this test bro he's a op for doing that now let's talk about hugs now at my middle school hugging people became like a trendy thing so kids in my grade were hugging their friends more often than usual and the teachers were like hey uh, we don't like that so it's banned now so hugs became banned at my school and was portrayed as like an act of sin okay let's just take a bit to google the definition of a hug all right let's see here hug definition Ah, squeeze someone tightly in one's arms, typically to express affection. Now just imagine the type of evil, sinister people that would even come to think of banning something that is meant to show affection to people you know. Yeah, you probably thought of someone like this. I don't know man, if you're gonna ban such a harmless act like hugging, I don't know what your priorities are man. Now let's talk about dress codes. Now for dudes, the dress code didn't really matter, we just pull up in like sweats and a hoodie and call it a day. And I'm a dude, so I don't know how it was for girls, but from what I'd guess, it was probably pretty restrictive. And I feel like students should be able to wear what they feel like to school, unless it's like some t-shirt that just says like fuck on it. That would be pretty bad. But other than those outliers, yeah, express yourselves man. And speaking about expressing yourselves, let's talk about uniforms. Now, I've never been to a school that require uniforms, but they just seem so lame, man. Like, everybody around you got the exact same drip and loadout. Like, you guys look like NPCs with your uniforms on. Like, what do I look like repping a uniform with the school's logo and name plastered on it? That's on some next level meat riding for your school, man. Like, you like your school that much to rock the entire loadout? Hey, you do you, man. And don't get me started on the prices. These schools are straight scamming you, bro. Like, why are schools making you pay upwards of 100 to $600 for a uniform that probably cost them like $10 to make. Like, I'm not paying all of that for some mid. I'm not trying to get finessed out here. Next, let's talk about school drills. Now, the main drills being the fire drill and the lockdown drill. Now, for the fire drills, they are just stupid and unrealistic. Like, if a full-blown fire is happening in the building, these teachers be expecting us to form a single filed line and start walking down to the exits. Like, huh? If there's a huge inferno ablaze in the building, I'm A-train, bro. Like, I'm out of there running for my life for the exit and I bet I wouldn't be the only one and for lockdowns man like why is the best idea for schools to have students stay inside the school when there's a school threat like bro the last thing we want is to be in the same building as them like break a window and run or something man why is hiding in the corner the best course of action like it's either I'm dipping out a window or I'm a juke his ass in the hallways or I'm gonna make my childhood dreams come true and strike back on the school threat and beat his ass like all it takes is one laugh or one fart and you're screwed. Oh shit! And the last rule we'll discuss is no eating in class. Now this rule is just annoying. Now I feel like a lot of people could relate to kinda. So usually I would get up like 20 minutes late for school and I'm late so I would just skip my breakfast. And now I'm just in class chugging water and chewing gum while starving. And you remember that you packed a granola bar and you start eating it but the teacher's like, hey, no food in class. Like bro, come on man. You don't know the situation I'm in right now. I'm starving, man. I need some eats. Like one time I was power studying for a calculus unit 
test during lunch and I couldn't eat my lunch because I needed to study for the test. And after I fucked up the test, I ate my lunch in English class because my English teacher was really nice and chill. She's a W teacher, man. Screw teachers who don't allow students to eat. They're ops for real. Okay, well, comment down your experiences with dumb school rules. And if you made it this far, I love you. And comment down this keyword. Anyways, I'm out. Hey, if you're bored, go ahead and watch this video on screen. Anyways, I'm out.